Hello everyone. I am Dr. Mahesh. I am the senior consultant at MedGenome. Uh, it is a nice opportunity to present before you uh, one of the uh, good topic here, which is uh, rare diseases. And uh, I would like to share you some of the facts about rare diseases. Though they are uh, considered as rare, but if we consider the span of number of disorders they are included in orphan disorders we call it as an orphan disorders they are very more in numbers so collectively the disorders are coming in the range of say one in 2000 one, one in 2500 disorders so uh, we have to take the cognizance of the same some of the disorders are really important as one of the health burden consider as far as in india so like you can say congenital hypothyroidism or cystic fibrosis or biotinidase deficiency or uh, galactosemia or uh, mm, phenylketonuria so in these disorders i would like to tell you that if we don't treat those conditions diagnose the condition and treat those conditions well within time the irreversible damage that happens is remarkable so all these disorders are considered by the American College of Medical Genetics that is one of the expert group panel which governs or which gives the recommendations which disorders need to be taken into consideration whenever some public health program need to be put into action like newborn screening one of the things so uh, those disorders are actually the clinical burden of the state one thing the treatment should be made available the screening and confirmation should be available and uh, fixed and the clinical outcome between diseased or treated and untreated is very significant so those disorders are always taken into consideration when a public health program needs to be run for the rare disorders so given an example say biotinidase deficiency this is a rare disorder i agree it is a rare disorder but if patient is not treated for biotinidase deficiency there is a death and if it is treated the baby will have as normal life as anybody can have with supplement of very cheap biotin which is a vitamin okay same is the case with galactosemia okay if we give the baby a galactosemic baby milk or a breast milk or a mother's milk uh, otherwise it is a blessing for a baby but if that milk is given to that baby the baby dies because that galactose is a poison for that baby so we need to take this into account that we must diagnose the galactosemia well within time and baby should be free of galactose for initial days so we can save the baby we can have that uh, mm, treatment in time a specific treatment in time now with the advancement of technology like inclusion of lcms uh, or the hplc uh, those mm, tests have modified the revolutionized the screening and algorithm pattern so many countries are using these platforms for the common screening of this particular group of rare disorders uh, in 2007 the acmg expert panel has recommended the some of the disorders to be included into core panel of rare disorders now with advent of lcms they have included some lsds also into the picture of common because now the treatment is available maybe it is mps1 or lsds or pompe or combi severe combined immunodeficiency the treatment is now available so make use of this uh, technologies okay treatments are available pediatricians are now aware about these platforms and techniques and we are really happy that we are actually catering to the society saving so many lives for these rare group of disorders uh, the, they are now put into a common strip of healthy people and uh, uh, things are really going very nice uh, because of in advent of these uh, technologies i 
wish you all the best and healthy life thank you very much